Hello, I'm Tony Kane Honeyset. Thought I'd give you a little background on this film. It features my mother. Now, if you've seen the two documentaries on my channel about my mum and her art, you'll know that she's quite a tough, feisty character. She told me she'd always wanted to be an actress. So one rainy night in London in 2010, I shot a little film starring her at the age of 81 and following a stroke, which had left her partially disabled. Uh, also starring my brother Lawrence and my nephew Sullivan Brown. Now, this is no cinematic masterpiece, but um, it was a fun family film to make one night in London, and I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> much longer I'm so starving come and get a Chinese when that light over there goes off we make our move all right now, have you got your knife yeah 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 uh, how old is she oh I don't know ancient anyway she's completely bonkers should be a breeze in how big are these paintings oh I don't know I know that Savab is selling one off next week though yeah the BBC they actually they made a program about her the um the artistic eccentric genius of Edna Cloud yeah Another boring day, nothing of note occurred. Fed Twinkle two tins of cat food instead of one. How do you know the key's going to be there then? I swear they all these old biddies they keep them, don't they? On a string. <sighs> hey. Right, go check the key. Now, have you got your torch? Yeah. Right, quietly. Right. Oh, for... We can't get all these in the car, Frank. We'll take that big one over there. Right. Now. Right. I'll take the painting off the wall. When I hand it to you, don't drop it. I can't work on an empty stomach. Focus, Gary. What are you doing in my house? Uh, well, uh, we... Uh, we were just, uh, just admiring your wonderful paintings, Miss Claire. In the dark? Well, uh, we, we didn't want to wake you up, so we brought our own lights. Oh, how thoughtful of you. But how did you both get in? Well, we are oh, uh, now. We, uh, what we, we, uh... What, well, did I leave the front door open again? Yes, wide open. Yeah, yeah, ever so slightly. Yeah, ever so slightly wide open. Oh dear, I'm getting so forgetful. It must be those new pills the doctor gave me. I must say, uh, your work looks lovely. Yes. Well, thank you, young man. Very kind of you. You can buy it for £25,000, and that's a steal. Yeah, that, that, that's, uh, that is a steal, isn't it? Daylight robbery, if it was daytime, there, so. Well, yeah, we collect out, my partner and I. Uh... I was just going to take this off the wall and have a closer look at the grain. Oh no, you can't do that. You'll set off the alarm. Alarm? Yes, the motion sensors. Motion sensors? You said easy peasy. The police would be here in a jiffy and we wouldn't want that, would we? No, 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 no we wouldn't. No, no, no I wouldn't go home. Well, Twinkle needs a tinkle. Now, don't go away, I'll be right back. Motion sensors. I never thought of that. We're screwed, Frank. No, 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 no. She's bluffing. Well, how do you know that? You want to risk it? 
No, 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 no. This is tricky. I need to think. Listen, I think we should just abort the mission and go and get an Indian takeaway. Oh, shut it, Gary. Turn off the light. We're hide behind the door. When she comes back in our jumper. You get a painting off the wall, we'll be off before the cops arrive. Tea. It's so nice to have company. Oh, I forgot to mention the security camera. Now smile, you're on TV. Come and sit down. Come on. Sugar, anyone? If you'd like to buy a painting, I take cash or a check. You remind me of someone. He was a plumber. What was his name now? I um, suppose we could always nick the telly. Charlie, I think. But anyway, he was a plumber. You remind me of my friend's son's nephew. Lovely bit of cake. Uh, or was it his nephew? I can't remember. But anyway, he was my second cousin from her first marriage. And um, he, his name was Jack. That's right, Jack. And he was the tallest midget in the world. He was five feet eight inches tall. Which is a giant if you're a midget. What's that then, love? Oh, that's nothing. Nothing that would interest you. Oh, really, really? Sure it's not that uh, that painting that Sotheby's is supposed to be auctioning off next week? No, that's just a blank canvas, that's all. Well, you wouldn't mind if we took it then, would you, love? No, don't take it. But it's not worth anything. Oh, really, really? Well, we don't, don't have to pay you for it then, do we? Well, that's stealing. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for the tea, Mrs. Cloud. We'll be off. Kevin? Kevin, is it? Kevin, who's Kevin? My name's Gary. Gary? Oh, sorry, Frank. Frank? I mean, uh, sorry, <laughs> Leopold. Leopold? Leonard. Yeah, yeah, Leonard. Leonard? Well, whoever you are, I think you're both very naughty boys. Right, well, uh, thank you very much for a lovely cap I missed, uh, Mrs. Clare. Thanks for the cake. <laughs> Here we are. Cheers. Frank, you are a total genius. In time, my young apprentice, you will learn more from the master. Now, come on, let's open it. <laughs> you found it was a blank canvas. Oh, it's a blank canvas. Oh. Turned out to be quite an entertaining evening after all. Con two burglars, stupid burglars into thinking I had motion sensors and security cameras in the house. What a laugh. <laughs> Couple of bloody idiots. <laughs>